Okay, this is Smooth Fuego TV and New Star Radio 98.7 FM, and I'm here with. Retch Free 2, Retch Shop Boy! Yeah, I hear Mr. Retch Free 2. Yeah. Now it's Retch Free 2, not Retch 32. Yeah, Free 2, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people say 32, you know. I know, I know, and it's my fault, but to be fair, like, you know, you just. You have, like, they're my favourite numbers, innit? So yeah. I get it. So when I've started MC, <laughs> I'm not thinking I'm going to be big enough for anyone to even know my name. So mm. I'm just like, yeah, I'm rich, free too. And then all of a sudden it's 32 and yeah. <laughs> it's like, and let's let's discuss the beginning of the journey. What got you uh-huh. into music? Was Has it always been there in your life? Do you know what? Always been into music, listening mm. to it, dancing to it, trying to dance, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Wasn't really thinking I was going to make it, you know, mm. make music at all. Then, you know, I started messing around a cousin of mine called Cricket. He's a freestyler. I used to freestyle a lot and that just used to encourage me to want to rap. And um, then I started writing stuff down. Then I started recording some stuff on tapes on any instrumental I could get hold of. And I was like, you know, I actually enjoyed doing this. It was it was therapeutic. It was fun. And, and, and I was getting better and I got better. And then I just kept going. And obviously I've always had a love for music, but I just yeah. didn't know that this is what I was going to be doing. Okay, now how does it feel for you now to be charting for fun? Like, like <laughs> the well, one thing um, I noticed with you, with your style, you haven't compromised yourself. Yeah. You're still doing the same music that you started with. And 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 that's what the great feeling is, man. Mm. I, I, I know that it's it's not any sound that I've jumped on, any wave that I've jumped on. We just made records that we believed in that we would have always have made. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like Blackout, I would have made this on my first CD. Like Tractor, like all these records I would have made them so I'm happy and it's nice to know that you know you can come out in a in you know in a week and sell the most and outsell mm. people and it's 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 nice to know that isn't what I got into music for to, 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 to you know particularly to outsell or anything like that just wanting to do well and better myself and then you end up competing with yourself so I'm mm. I'm, I'm having fun man but what what was the turning point where you thought Right, <laughs> I made it. Like, what? What was the major <laughs> event still, that happened to you? I still don't feel like I've made it. I still oh, feel okay. like I'm, I'm making it. You want that world domination? Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm making it. It's not made, and I think that's what kind of keeps you going. I think it when you think, yeah, I've made it. That's it. That's when you put your feet up mm. and your hands behind your head and you're laid out on the canopy in wherever. You know what I mean? But mm. I'm, I'm just like, I'm making it. I'm trying. We're, we're going. Yeah. One thing which I respect about you as well, you've had that commercial success. And as uh-huh. I said, you didn't dilute the music. Yeah. But you're also still doing the underground street stuff. You're not afraid to work with up and coming artists. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Did you put emphasis on something like that? Yeah, of course. That's that's massively important to me, man. Like, mm. I, I want to do as much as I can. And obviously, I'm only human. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, mm. not everything makes sense. But when it does, we, we, we do it, man. Because... I'm 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 competitive. I'm still mm. on my toes, you know, and and I'm I'm I still enjoy that the most, like doing a song with Squeaks where we're just going forty eight bars a piece. You know, I love <laughs> yeah. that. Like, we, we, where do you get that rawness, that that element? This is the scene I come from, so I love doing it. Obviously, we, it doesn't make sense for me to do it all day because That's there's so much other things to do, and and Definitely. there's new artists that we're working with, um, that we're we're pushing now, we're managing, we're signing and stuff like that. So publishing and there's there's so much going on that. I just, you know, there's so much more to do. Yeah. Mm. Now, what artists are you feeling at the moment? Feel free to throw some Birmingham artists in there, as you know. <laughs> um, I always, I like Lady Leisha. Yeah. She's hard, of course. I like Malik. He goes mm. in. Um, I like Krypton Conan. I like Young and I like G Fresh. I like Squeaks. I like Jay Spades. Like, there's a few. There's a few, man. There's there's much more. Like, I'm nosy. I know everyone. Like, I listen to everything. <laughs> like, that's how just how I am. Yeah. That's good. So what, what are your thoughts of the UK scene at the moment? Do you think it's in the best place it's ever been? I think it's in a great place. Mm. I think we've got a long way to go, a lot to prove. And I think we're actually prepared for the fight now. You know, mm. we're, we're going for it. Um, and, and, and I'm just happy to be a part of it, man. I'm happy to, to know that when, when the book's written and in 50 years, people are looking back and like, it started with that. Mm. Like, I'm, my name's there. Do you know what I mean? And, and I'm happy with that, man. Definitely. Now you got a new single, Blackout. Uh-huh. I was very happy to see Shaka on there. Yeah, I know yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's been around for a while for and he's time. like yeah, yeah. on a London live scene. He's out yeah. there, and I respect to the fact that you took that chance and you put him on the single. And uh-huh. It's one of the best songs at the mo- moment it's, out there. But ex- can you explain it? Is that I know I know with you, there's loads of subliminals. <laughs> I have to get the dictionary <laughs> Theosaurus. Yeah, 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 yeah. But can you explain the message behind Blackout? Okay, so Blackout is for me. When I blackout, I'm in the studio. 
Mm. That's where I black out. And that's when I'm in my own zone and nothing in the world matters. Mm. Like nothing can get me out of here until I'm finished. When I'm in the nightclub, it's the same kind of thing. When I'm having a great night out, I'm blacking out. I'm in my zone. Mm. I'm just saying I want I, I want it I want to cat I want you to make a song that represents that moment that feels mm. like you're in that place. Like if I listen to Blackout with my headphones on, I feel like I'm in a special place and I'm in my own zone. Hence why we just created a place in the video as well. Do you mm. know what I mean? Just something that just looks like nothing, but it just, you get it when you hear it and you, and, and, and it all makes sense. So that's what Blackout is to me. Okay, now I could continue this uh, this interview all yeah. day, but I know you're a busy man yourself, <laughs> so I have to ask you one last question. As we okay. are a community station, we've got a lot of artists, producers, yeah. songwriters coming up. Um, could you give them any advice based on your own experiences? Work. Um, you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Mm. If, um, if Will Smith decided to quit before he got his acting role, we would never have seen one of the best actors in the world, period, on, on our TV. That could be you. Do you know mm. what I mean? You could be Adele. You could be Jay-Z. You could be whoever. Do you know what I mean? But you're never going to know and we're definitely never going to know if mm. you quit. And I think the reason why I'm, I'm putting so much emphasis on continuing to go is because there's so many hurdles. There's so many doors that slam in your face. Not close. I mean slam that they break your finger. Mm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they break your heart. They break your nose. Everything is slammed mm. in your face. But that's part of, of, of the journey and it's part of picking yourself back up and being able to continue to go. And, um, you know, listen to people that inspire you, listen to different genres, work like this is the only thing that you're going to make. Like for me, there was no plan B. Mm. Plan A is make music. Plan B is stick to plan A. Plan C is don't get nowhere near plan D. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It's yeah, just definitely. keep at it, keep at it and, and be yourself because you are unique because you are you and I am not and nobody else is you and um, go for it man go for it okay well that has been Rich32 would you like to tell the New Star Radio listeners yeah. Smooth Fuego TV watches where they can keep up to date with you your Twitter website Facebook yeah, um, iTunes everything and introduce your track my Twitter is at Rich32 you can follow me on official Rich32 on Instagram as well I take pictures I'm mad like that <laughs> but um, this is my next single this is my song the uplifting the vibe the everything oh yeah it's blackout and yeah